So now that Halo 3 released uh, Season 7 for the MCC uh, with a bunch of new content like new armors, skins, uh, two new maps for Halo 3, and Halo C, you know, finally has all those issues solved, with which Gearbox never get to fix. Uh, you know, when the game launched in 2003, I believe Halo C now matches the OG Xbox version in 2001. And lastly, we also have the server browser. Finally. Is here. It took you long enough. No, but really, it's better than never, right? I mean, I'm aware it took T43 this long, uh, but I'm happy it's finally here. Uh, this is the best season update T43 has done. I'm so proud, you know, what they've done with this update. But in this video, I want to talk about the custom server browser. As much I am really happy with other content that T43 has implemented and has done a lot of fixes for Halo Combat Evolve. Uh, the server browser really excites me for the future of custom games, you know, for Halo MCC, and especially modding but we will talk about the mods in a bit. So the first thing I want to say is the custom server browser is a top notch. T43 have done an awesome job for Game the server browser. They are definitely in the right direction. Custom games has already started a new era. This will keep MCC alive, no doubt. Even with Halo Infinite being around, if you're just a player who just wants to chill out and play Halo and not have to grinding XP or ranking up, then this future is definitely for you. You know, you will no longer have to have trouble finding matches ever again. You get to pick on what you want to play. It's totally up to you. It's your decision, you know, you're calling the shots. You can even quit games now, you can whenever you want, you know, you won't get punished for it, you won't get banned for it. And the, the idling system, you know, won't be an issue on the, on the server browser. If you're idling or your pals in the lobby, you can still enter the game, you know, uh, if there are coaches in the in game, other players can join in. Uh, you don't have to worry about your KD. There's a lot of pros about this, you know, about the server browser. However, there are cons. Okay, there are cons, there are some things that the server browser is missing, and some are minor, some are major, uh, so I would like to point them out. I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys, uh, you know, that the server browser is the most perfect thing that is beyond our imagination. No, I want to be honest uh, about the server browser. Uh, so currently, it's only Halo Reach that's playable, playable on the server browser. Uh, you can't really, you know, you can't play Halo 1, Halo 2 or Halo 3. At least not yet. Uh, you know, it's understandable why uh, T43 don't want to rush, you know, you know, all the games all in one go. Because it would end up, you know, being game breaking. So T43 will release uh, the games one by one. When Season 7 dropped, it, it broke matchmaking, you know, it was like 2014 again. Thankfully, T43 were quick and fixed those issues in three days later. So for now, you will have to play Halo Reach. I plus Halo Reach has, you know, uh, the best custom games in the series. Anyways, uh, another feature we don't have is dedicated servers. I know you guys might say, oh, there are dedicated servers in game. Well, the thing is, it works very differently. You can't host daily servers for 24-7 in, in MCC. How this works is if you're hosting, and you decide to lead the match, someone will, well, someone else will take the leadership, you know. Uh, I don't really like that, that's not really dedicated server thing, you know, that like you're still basically hosting a normal server. It's just that someone else becomes a leader, you know, once you leave. So it's not like a proper dedicated server. Uh, hopefully T40 can give us proper dedica dedicated server support, uh, just like how the Custom Edition has it, or El Dorito. Another option we don't have is a filter option on the server browser. So like in Halo CE, the original PC port, uh, there was an option where you can turn on specific game mode. So if you want to play CTF or King of the Hill, you know, Slayer, you can basically do that in Halo CE. This helped players, you know, a lot who want to play on these game modes only. Uh, so I'm really hoping to add this in game at some point. Uh, I mean, it would be cool if we had a, uh, another option where we choose one specific game mode and uh, and one Halo game to play on. If I was to pick, let's say, Halo CE, but I only want to play Blood Gulch, you know, and all I want to see, uh, what I want to see is Blood Gulch servers in every like uh, all the servers will be Blood Gulch, you know. I want to, I want to be able to do that. For those who played Halo Try back in the day, knows what I'm talking about. Uh, and I would like to see the population counter, you know, on how many people are playing the server browser. I remember Halo Nine uh, had a population counter and. Even custom edition had it, uh, so that would be uh, very uh, nice to see, uh, and it would be uh, very cool uh, if we had a search bar where we can search for the server, the server's name or the game attack, because that would help us to define servers uh, quickly. And, and lastly, we need a vote option. A uh, voting option will be very cool. So if players want to vote for a map or game mode. Uh, again, this is what. Halo Custom Edition had I believe, I think Custom Edition had it, but I know Ed Rita definitely had it. Okay, so now I got that out of the way, I want to discuss about modding. Modding will play a huge role in the custom game browse. If you guys didn't know, T43 have already efficiently given us mod tools for Halo CE on the MCC when Season 7 dropped. And this is huge, and no one isn't really talking about this, and T43 giving us these dev tools, you know, where we can port maps and, you know, you know, custom models and this makes me think will other Halo games have this? Will Halo 3 and Reach have this as well? Will this mean can I port, can I port over a map from Half-Life 2, Ravenholm in Halo 3? 
uh, that'll be amazing. I mean, currently my brother, uh, he, uh, like uh, I'm sure you guys know, like he, he used to mod back in the day and he actually used the new mod tools for Halo C on the MCC and he actually managed to put over the head crab in Halo CE on the MCC. I think we could do something like that with other Halo games, you know, with Halo 3 uh, or, you know, Halo 4 or Reach. Uh, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm, just, you know, I'm trying to keep my hype, you know, my expectations low, but, but by looking at these tools, man, like Halo C on the MCC, I think there's a high chance we could, you know, do something like that with other Halos as well. Uh, and over time, people 3 said they will improve modding, you know, even the mod tools we have now may not be perfect. You know, over time they will improve. You know, they will give us better tools to work with, uh, it will be the main focus and uh, hopefully they give us Steam Workshop. Please do, do, do. give us the, give us Steam Workshop so we can download mods and you know, we don't have to go on the internet. Hopefully uh, they give us Steam Workshop. Halo MCC is could likely to become the next custom edition. If we take a look at a custom edition here, this on the server browser, there are still over 100 players playing the game because of modding. Modding is what, you know, is keeping custom edition alive and that is just Halo CE alone, you know, it's standalone. But if we look at Halo MCC, now imagine all these seven games which will have official mod tools and may have Steam Workshop available. This game will be, I don't, I don't have to describe it, like it could compete against Gary's mods and Skyrim and you know, what other games like Fallout, you know, all these modded games like GTA 5, Halo MCC could likely suppress them, right? Who knows? Maybe not Gary's mods, but it could be, it could be like competing against Gary's mods, you know, I could see that happening. There's so much potential with the MCC, honestly, when it comes to modding. With Halo Infinite on the horizon, I still see many people will play Halo MCC, mostly because of the mods, you know, and the server browser. Uh, some people are concerned that Halo Infinite will officially kill Halo MCC for good. I don't believe any of that happening, uh, but I do think matchmaking in the MCC could decrease, you know, by a lot, you know, once the infinite drops. Uh, at least for some Halo games, like Halo CE, Halo Reach, Halo 4, and maybe Halo 2 Anniversary like that. Uh, but I think Halo 3 will have its own population, you know, have its, you know, stronger population matchmaking. Players were still able to, you know, to play Halo 3 matchmaking, but maybe lack of finding matches at, at, at times, you know, at time on top, you know. And it's not just infinite would harm the population, but also the custom game browser as well. So once all the games are available on the server browser, players can just hop on there instead of matchmaking, unless if they want to grind XP or ranking up. But most people who don't want to play like, you know, sweaty games and don't want to chase after, you know, ranks or, you know, chasing after XP, then they might as well just hop on the custom server browser, right? When you look at the server browser right now on the MCC, so many people are playing Halo Reach custom games and it's just Halo Reach alone that's available. But once all the Halo games will make it on the, on the server browser along with modding, it will become huge and this is just this is just a start i honestly believe it a new golden era has started on the mcc and along with the hidden infinite being released you know Halo in general will start a new golden age you know it's not just mcc but also infinite as well uh, and, I, and also i forgot to mention actually people with you are investigating to push the player count over 16 in custom games which will be amazing for a bigger custom made maps uh, like Halo, like extension or Cold Snap, uh, if you guys ever played. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say in this video, guys. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to you know, give you guys my thoughts, and, you know, my, my opinions and everything else. Uh, how I feel about the uh, new update, uh, about the server browser mainly, about modding, about Hidden Seas uh, future. Uh, so yeah, I hope to, hope to you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please do smack that like button, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow us on Twitch. I do stream Halo on there on Twitch every day. So go ahead and drop a follow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.